When you open LinkDesk for the first time, you'll have the option to log in or create an account. You can either do that or skip logging in. You will find yourself in the Productions view. If you click the menu at the top, you can get to the settings. In order to configure Spectera, let's create our first production. Give it a name and click Create. The production view contains an area for your base stations and one for your mobile devices, like SEKs. Let's add our first base station by clicking on the plus symbol. Make sure Spectera is connected to the same network as your computer. Enter its IP address, which you will find in the Network tab on the base station itself. If the base station has already been configured in another production, you will be asked if you want to apply the existing configuration. We will add ours as unconfigured for now. However, our existing productions will remain unchanged. Next, we will need to select a broadband channel to use with the base station. Although the RF channel is muted by default, be aware of the importance of frequency coordination. Although this is optional, for an easy-to-use frequency coordination, we recommend having a look at the new SoundBase software. Click Configure RF. Select the connected antenna you want to use from the drop-down menu at the top. Then you can configure your settings for that antenna. In this example, we activated the license to operate in the EU. Allowed center frequencies, bandwidth and RF power depend on the licenses and local regulations. Your base station is now configured and ready to be used. Click the Start Scan button at the top right to create an RF plot of your current environment using your connected antenna. This way, you'll get an overview of the frequencies that are already in use. Thanks to WMAS technology, scans are now much faster and don't need to sweep through the whole band. Rather, scanning happens continuously and can be turned on and off similarly to a monitoring mode. The grey box shows which RF channel our antenna is using. The quiet frequencies are coloured in light blue, whereas the busy channels are shown in dark blue. You can pause the scan by clicking on the same button. For safety reasons, your RF channel is still muted. In order to unmute it, click the base station's card. You will see a menu pop up on the right of the screen, which contains settings for the base station and for the RF channels. In the RF channels tab, pull the orange slider to the left in order to unmute it. We can now add our first mobile device, in this case an SEK UHF. In the mobile devices section, click on the blue plus icon. You will see a view of your base stations, the RF channels and the mobile devices. You can also mute or unmute your RF channels here. Toggle the pairing mode switch and you will see a countdown telling you that pairing is enabled for 5 minutes. Turn on your SEK by opening the battery compartment and holding the button underneath the lid press. It will go into pairing mode and show up in the mobile devices section. Click the plus symbol next to its name and a pin will be shown. This pin helps identify the device you want to pair to the base station so that in a live environment, you don't accidentally pair the wrong devices. Compare it to the pin shown on the screen of the SEK and click Confirm if they match. You can unpair it using the button shown under Controls. After a short time, the SEK symbol will turn orange because you need to set the device's link mode. Click the Close button on the bottom right. Your SEK will appear orange under the Mobile Devices section. Click the SEK's card and a menu will appear on the right-hand side. Here you can find various informations like the battery percentage and settings like the microphone preamp gain or the low-cut filter frequency. Under the Input IEM IFB section, you will find controls for the balance, the headphone volume and the volume limiter. Both sections contain an Edit Routes button, which will take you to the corresponding routing editor. You will now see a routing matrix for the IEM functionality. Under the Audio Link Mode column, you'll find a drop-down menu for each of your connected devices. Click it and select your desired link mode. Hover over the options to see the stats of how each one performs. There is the Standard Live Mode, Low Latency, Ultra Low Latency and Link Density, which allows for the highest RF capacity. You can also get to the microphone routing matrix using the blue toggle switch. It will also allow you to set an audio link mode for the microphone functionality of the mobile device. There is Max Range, Max Link Density, Live Link Density, 
Live, live low latency, RAW, which offers the highest audio quality, and RAW low latency. Under RF capacity, the solid line shows the capacity that is already used, and the broken line shows what will be used if you select the option you're hovering over. When you have set both link modes, click the close button on the bottom right. Spectera is now configured and ready to be used.